everybody we're just gonna do a little color explosions uh, or color splashes sometimes I like to call them where you're literally painting encaustic with a torch so um, I, sometimes I just like to put the colors down wherever I'm gonna place them and then get to a point where um, like as you see in this section here um, there's a bit of uh, contrast and I, what I want to do is explode that out so that it has little splashes like you see in this section here and I'm just going to show you how to do that the technique is called overfusing I do it quite a bit um, one of the things that I have to stress is you do need to make sure that you're on a level surface now one of the things that I did uh, if you, any of you have a smartphone, just there's a little app that you can get a level on and then you just essentially put the, uh, the app down there and it just tells you how level it is. And I had it level a moment ago, sorry about that. So I'm just going to pause this and once it's level, go back to where we were. Okay, great. So, got it level again, and in this case, I was doing these other ones earlier with a with a heat gun, um, one of these things, and they're generally used to work it in caustic, certainly, but um, most often you'll also find them um, where people are uh, painters, and they're used to strip paint off walls. So these are very, very, very hot. So, if you're going to use one, use one that's temperature controlled. But occasionally, there's nothing like painting with a little handheld torch. So, that was that sound you just heard me turning it on. So, it's just one of these, a little propane torch. And I like to turn the flame down so that it's barely there. Just maybe sticking out about an inch of which you can barely see. And then I'll work in the color until I get it really hot. Now it helps if you've got multiple layers of wax. If you've just got two layers here, it really is not going to do as good a job. But if you've got three or four layers and you also have different colors that you'd like to sort of blend and change, this is a good technique to do it with. Now, as it heats up, it gets to a certain level where the color breaks down inside the wax and just tends to explode or splash out. Yeah, perhaps it's not hot enough. It's not quite doing what I'd like to do it. What I would like it to do. So let's try using the torch again. And I'm also going to introduce another color, and you can kind of use cold wax. I didn't, just didn't have any that were melted already. Bear with me just a moment. Now, if you ever do that, be very, very careful because this is hot. Okay, so now I've got some more color on there, but then I kind of interdisperse among the other colors. And now you can sort of watch it splash out again. Now when you get to that stage where it's just so, you really got to pull your... There it is. That's it. And then you stop and you wait. You let it settle. It'll shift. And I'll try and zoom in so you guys can see the effect. 